Tis the season. It is the season <laughs> of jolly mint and cheer. Of jolly mint? I made that word up. It's I all like right. It. I like stuff it. Wrong. Welcome everyone to a brand new special edition Attack on Show. I'm Rob E. And I am Jay Marsh. And we're going to switch things up today. We're going to look at the top three oddest. How did you label this? I, these, I, like, I wouldn't say oddest. To me, these are my worst three Christmas movies. Like that you hate. I, I greatly dislike. Hate's a strong word. God, oh. Rob, this is the ho- this is you know it's the holidays. I, I just get that a lot wow. in the comments. So wow. I just think <laughs> word. Hey, you know what? It's just nice to get responses in the comments. Period. <laughs> Very true. You know. Very true. Uh, I am picking up uh, probably the oddest, but movies I enjoy. No, no, and that's fine. Season, I don't think so. we're necessarily clear on that. But this my my list kind of went in this direction where I was kind of looking for thinking the oddest, and then I went, my God, I hate that movie. Yeah, everyone does their favorites. Their favorite Christmas holiday movies this time of year. Attack on Show is going to change things up. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, it's, you know, it's what, what we, we do. do. <laughs> Stay well, well tuned. Done, well done. <laughs> yes, that's roasting on an open fire. All right. <laughs> so, we're going to kick things off. Our top three. Well, well worst three. Bottom three? <sighs> Yeah, I don't all know. Right, all right, yeah. I have no idea what these graphics are going to say yet. <laughs> all I know is it's going to take some work. Anyway, uh, the oddest, I'm going to say our oddest picks for Christmas movies for the 2022 holiday season. Jay Marsh, why don't you kick it off? Yeah, I'm going to kick it off with, um, you know, I think this can kind of be grouped in with, you know, almost anything coming from the Hallmark Channel. And this is a not oh. essentially a Hallmark movie, but... You know, I think you could probably go down the line there and It could just, be on Hallmark? It could be on Hallmark. Mm. But this may be... How a, bad do you gotta be if you don't make Hallmark? That's, that's <laughs> it. This is the 1995 film called The Christmas Box. Mm. Sounds like a porno. It could not be anywhere farther from a porno. <laughs> What's it about? Um, it's actually about a stillbirth baby. Oh, oh man, I wish you told me that before I made a joke. Yeah, no, right? Oh. No, you can't. You gotta have to. You gotta have to. Because... Someone made this movie, and you're kind of throwing yourself out there. I will joke to the fact that how can any Christmas movie being based off that? And we're going to upset people. I get it. Some people, literally, this is like 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. But really, when it all comes down to it, it's about a couple who uh, end up caring caretakers for um, an older individual, and the husband works too much, and all this ugly stuff happens, essentially. But the main premise of the film is that, and how... The wife goes and prays to a statue, and it's just, it's really a, I, I don't want Rob to have to do any more editing, but it's a mess. It's for a Christmas movie, and I've seen Violent Night this week. Um, this, is, this is horrible. Wow. Yeah, I know, beat that. I don't right? want to like, make jokes about a stillborn baby on Christmas. I'm just saying, and not on Christmas, but it's, you know, it's it's themed like that. You know, it was probably filmed in the summer like every Hallmark movie. Do you know every Hallmark movie's filmed in the summer? Yeah. Yeah, that's just messed oh, up, it's got to be out in time for yeah, the holidays. Yeah, I mean, that's just, it's, hmm. yeah. Well, I guess it worked out for me, Mary, in the end. So. And I just killed his. Like, any, <laughs> anything he had starting on that was like, wow, oh, stillbirth baby. Okay, wow. yeah, uh, i got to be careful with my jokes now, apparently. Uh, <laughs> my list is a little different. Now, we have, an oddball, <laughs> we have an oddball tradition here at the Robbie household uh, oh, and our, our neighbors. Um, nice, that okay. I love this. This has quickly become my favorite Christmas tradition. We okay. started it just three years ago, where on Christmas Eve, we turn on Tubi or whatever app has those free movies on yeah, it, yeah, yeah. and we find the worst horror movies that take place with Christmas, and we just binge them all night long. Oh, wow. we, these movies are probably There's the worst a lot things of ever made. Too, yes, actually, oddly. there yes, are. Yeah. So I dug through that list of what we've watched over the last few years and wanted to highlight them too because we really enjoyed watching these sure. movies, and I think you will as well. And I'm going to kick things off with a 2005 smash hit American comedy. It was directed by Charles Band, starring the one and only Gary Busey, ladies and gentlemen. How can, you, can you go wrong with Gary Busey ever? I mean, I feel like that is just... That's, nope. Like, he's the classic... Classic. Yeah, not since uh, Silver Bullet has oh, wait, anything wait, 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 been made wait, wait, so see, well. Real quick though, when was the year? This came out in no, 2005. Oh, so this is definitely post-traumatic brain injury Gary yes. Busey. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I am going with the Ginger Dead Man. Oh, that oh wow <laughs> yes. wow uh, and, okay. Uh, it's basically a serial killer gets his ashes mixed into a gingerbread spice mix machine. Badass. Which then breeds. 
a serial killer ginger dead man. God, you know, I feel like I've seen maybe like something to do with this. <laughs> I don't know, no. And it's really kind of bad because I love gingerbread cookies. Oh, and oh you, will, you will not sleep well at night if they're in the house after watching oh, this movie. Wow. I will say it, the creep really? factor in this film is top notch. Acting <laughs> oh, is I'm superb. Sure. Um, used to be on Tubi, unfortunately it can't be found there anymore, but I did some digging. Oh. And you attackers are gonna thank me for this. You can watch it for free. If you Google it, it's currently on Vimeo which you don't even really need an account, you can watch the full-length movie there. Oh, yeah, nice. So, okay, nice. Yeah, spread the ginger dead man love. No, uh, yeah, well and we done. Want, and I want to hear when you guys watch it. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's like got to be some comments on oh, that, right? Man, yeah. Gary Busey's top-notch. All right, you, are, are we, <laughs> I'm are good. we ready? I'm all right, good. that was good. Like, and that was a nice, uh, I know I did not segue that at all when it came to There's mine. no, no segue. Yeah, from, no, so. Was it the Christmas box? Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have a very unpopular view on this one. I, I originally thought, because this is a film that I don't know why I've never cared for. It was, um, and it shouldn't. It, uh, the 1996 Jingle All The Way. Really? Yeah, I That know. made my See, last year's favorites. I'm just gonna, well, I know. And I'm just <laughs> going to say this though, interesting enough as I went to look like this, a 19 Rotten Tomato score. So I'm not the only one. People don't I, get I'm it. I'm not the only one. Put the, the cookie only. down. No, and that's what, it's a very quotable movie and I truly feel that's the only reason it is what it is. Phil um, Hartman's rolling over in his Christmas box right now. Well, I love Phil Hartman, who doesn't? But <laughs> that was good on the spot. Though. That was, that was, on his Christmas box right now. Oh, oh, see what he did there? That's professionalism, Ugh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, basically what it is, it's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad, because back then they liked to pair Arnold Schwarzenegger up with the weirdest people they possibly could. And God bless Sinbad, I wish him, we both here on Attack on Show wish you the most recovery, because I know you're watching. Um, but uh, basically, they're both competing for the same gift of the... Uh, Turbo Man. The same, uh, Turbo Man, trying to... Uh, and it's their play and jinx that go back and forth on them trying to get the gift. Um, I, I just... I've never enjoyed the film. I never understood it as just the so over a topness. And, you know, I, it, I don't find it enjoyable. I find it very stressful to watch. And, yeah... So that's my number two. I think that movie helped prepare me to be a better dad because like, I get Holy my Christmas shopping cow. done early well, all because of okay, what Arnold yes, had to go through, through in that. Right? But okay. uh, no, and Phil so, Hartman I mean, was classic in that movie. Yeah, His Hartman's performance is fantastic. What is he, but that's a probably, like, what is Phil Hartman not good at? No, exactly. Right? Like, exactly. he's just that, I mean, and he's, he was fantastic and everything. I don't make it worse. He, him alone. It's not just, okay. Ah. Uh, and he punches the reindeer. All right. No one's going to like my third one, but go ahead. I am going with, sticking with the horror Christmas tradition, uh, Slay Bellas. Bellas, not Bellas. Is this an Italian film? Uh, it sounds no. like an Italian uh, film. Basically, Santa Claus helps three cosplayers uh, who accidentally unleash Krampus, and they have to then fight Krampus and send him okay, back. Okay, I just want to, I want to clarify something. Rob is killing it on this episode. Like, yeah, I, I, he is. I'm really this excited. Is, yeah. What you're pulling out here is just classic gold. What, what really yeah. stands out in this film is Santa Claus is not your typical uh, jolly it's Krampus, self. Right? It's no, not. no, Santa Claus in this. Okay. He's like a biker, helping Ooh. these cosplayers. Krampus is like a demon spirit yes, in right. this. Yes, right. Yes, yeah. Uh, and together they've got to stop before this monster can go on its killing spree. Uh, currently free on Tubi, so I'm saving you money and bringing you joy. I'm like Santa Claus himself this year. You are. You are. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have nothing else to say about it. Just check no, it out on TV. No, that's me fantastic. Um, in my merriment of um, <laughs> destruction that I bring along, incredibly unpopular choices, I see, I'm going to go with the Tim Burton classic of Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually can, uh, I can appreciate this one. But do tell. I want to hear you. Um... It's a mess, and it really is. And I, you know, I'm gonna actually. That's only produced by Tim Burton. No, you're right. I'm sorry. Too much credit but, for that. Yeah, film. you're right. He does, or maybe too much on credit for yeah. that film. I don't know. Um, I just, I don't. I think it's a horrible film. I don't, I don't enjoy it in any way. Um, I, I, I guess you could say the stop action anima animatronics is, is fantastic. Yes. But the story is sloppy and kind of a mess, and it lacks that Tim Burton esque. Which kind of guess kind of makes sense because he did not direct it, but he gets kind of credit for the film. It's dark. 
Um, mixing the two doesn't mix well. Christmas and is it know, a Christmas movie or is it a Halloween movie? Regardless, I kind of <laughs> get really lost in the fact that they're you now see an entire generation of putting that stuff in the front of their house as Christmas. Yeah, you know what Jack I mean. Jack skeletons everywhere. Yeah, like I, the, like it, it's Santa just hat. it's just I I I don't get it, and I didn't really enjoy it. I don't find. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just like there's nothing. I know, right? I know. There's nothing in it of any significance. It's never been a huge standout or a movie that like I always want to watch on Christmas. However, I have understood why people do like it. I think there is the the music. I, I am actually surprised at the longevity of that film. Okay, it does a good, seem yes, to be yeah. getting more popular as generations yeah, yeah. go. Uh, of becoming that classic. So it is interesting to see how it has grown. However, yeah, I was never a huge fan to like watch it on my own. So like substance, right? Yeah. It, it seems obnoxious yes, to me. Right. It just yeah, really, it just doesn't... And I hate musicals, so I just can't get by it. Yeah, okay. I, I have a hard yeah. time with musicals. All right. No secret. And, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited. I want to hear Rob's third. I know my Rob's third. third. What has he got? Uh, I have something completely mm -hmm. written here. I'm doing an I'm doing an audible. Oh, okay. Here we go. Idaho. Okay. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm going to wow. audible. All right. Because of what you decided to oh, do, okay. I'm changing All right. this up. All right. I'm going to pick a movie that I think everybody loves. And I know a lot of people love that I just cannot stand. I don't like it. I am not a fan. A Christmas story. I. Have never All been. Right, listen, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been no, a lot of fun on this show. It this is, is. It is oh, a go terrible ahead. movie. It is. There. It is so boring. The plot is just. It's so mundane. You sit there for so long. Obviously, the quality is not there. I find it obnoxious. I find the kids obnoxious. I have never understood the humor. I don't think it's aged well. I just. I never understood it from day one. I think it even. It doesn't connect even more today. Uh, let alone now that there's a new Christmas can, story. Can I tell you what? Two. I, as a fan of that film, am questioning why I enjoy it. Because all the points you made, especially the one where, I think you're kind of sitting there, I think you made a really good point, Rob made a great point, is that you're kind of sitting and waiting for these specific events in the film, and you're there for those points, but everything in between, and does that, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he makes a, that's... No, I, I never really understood the humor with the light. I can't argue light. with you. I never yeah. understood this yeah. huge ramp up to get the, the little gift thing to solve the riddle and it ends up being nothing. It, I just, it's, it doesn't, it, it doesn't age well could and it I just be don't, that never that enjoyed it. that is kind of the same as the uh, Night Before Christmas? There's almost a parallel to the fact that like people are make, make a big deal and they put the lights in their front Oh, I would say reverse like, though because no, I- But I, I mean, they're much the same, but people have this nostalgia for a film that you only watch once a year but really, in the end, it's not that great of a film. It, it isn't. Right? I never understood that but hype, especially when TBS runs it like 24-7 on, on Christmas. Christmas I will never turn to that channel. I have just... I, I, Wait, I, TBS still exists? Or TNT, one of the... Yeah, wow, I think TBS is still right, out there. But yeah, no, I've just... I, I listen to people talk about watching that it. movie yeah. all the time around the holiday no, seasons, I, and I've never understood it. It's so, interesting. I can't argue that with that, you. That's the audible. That is that not is what I had written. That, that, was, that was well done. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Dilly um, dilly. <laughs> There's large rope spin on an open fire. Oh. You want to do a fourth? Mm. I don't think, can I pull off? Oh, you got a fourth? Give me a fourth. No, what do you got? Uh, my eyeball one on here was the, the Star Wars Holiday Special, because how do we do How can you not? The Star Wars Holiday Special. It's so bad. It's the first so 15 bad. minutes is just the Wookiees, like, it is growling. It's so bad. It is it hard to watch even now? Oh, it's terrible now. It it's is like, on it's YouTube. It's maybe even worse. Uh, I it's think, on YouTube. Like Disney I don't know if it's worse it. or that people now understand or embrace the true campness, of, the campiness of it, that it's easier to like understand. To whereas I think when it came out, they were actually trying to make a holiday special, and it was awful. Come on, Mala. Let's see a little smile. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually really curious. I would. Wouldn't you love to sit down and talk to someone who waited? to see that in like what their impression was back then. They just want to like shoot Lumpy. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, no, it is terrible, but the one thing of note, obviously it's Boba Fett's first appearance. Hey, settle down. <laughs> All they do is eat. But I will say But the, he kept his mouth shut, which yeah. is nice and it 
I was gonna Maybe say, I do think showing than Boba Fett the series. <laughs> beat right? me to it. Beat oh, me to it. Yeah, yeah. Me my I mean, it's like sorry, but it's yeah. well done. Yeah. No, but that was gonna be my number three. So that's no, the that's bonus. No, that's solid though. That's a nice Christmas bonus. Like there you go. You ever go like your parents ever like there's the presents and then oh, all of a sudden they come out at the end after everything's open and like here it is. That's what Rob just yeah. gave you. When you so didn't open that, that game system. Appreciate that. Kind yes. Of, it's always a game system. The bonus it's gift. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So go ahead, wrap it up. I don't oh, want to. So again, with that being said, we wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy Kwanzaa, and hope that you have an incredible, incredible new year. So on behalf of myself and Rob, this is Attack on Show. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.